Hey guys, what's going on? Drewzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video, and another week of Team Wars has wrapped up for the week, and this week we uh, got another win. Over 5,000 score with only 46 runs, I think is a pretty good accomplishment for the team. We did, uh, I did pretty darn well in uh, this Team Wars, 114 score. I will not showcase the matches in this video, I have another route I would like to go here towards the end, uh, but we're going to showcase the pack, of course, showcase the votes, and then we will get to the big topic of this video, which is going to be my decision discussion or my opinion on the recently announced balance changes that Rinlinx has made here going into this next seasonal reset. Okay, but let's go ahead and claim this pack real quick and then we'll get into the rest of that stuff also. So, opening the pack, 1200 PvP tickets, we get 24 holy candles, one ancient fossil, are you kidding me? Uh, 18 ancient keys, we get 21 top secret chips, 26 mage tomes, 5 power serums, 33 arrowheads, 4 share of stars, 11 ancient dr fancy dreidels, we get 17 comics, 207 battle tokens, we get 800 eternity gems. Okay, I apparently skipped a card there. Alright, we get 17 gunslinger Kyle, 22 Poseidon Stan, we get 25 smuggler Ike, 15 pirate ship Timmy, 39 dwarf king Clyde, we get 3 rogue tokens, we get 8 Mr. Slave, I'm actually really excited about that. And we get a legendary to boot. We get Man Bear Pig, guys. So Man Bear Pig, probably one of my lowest level legendaries there at only level two. So we get a legendary for the second week in a row. We get eight Mr. Slave, which I'm really excited about because I would love to get Mr. Slave to level five. I think he's really good. Uh, Dwarf King Clyde, I'm okay with getting 39 of that. I would like love to get him to level six. He's pretty solid. Don't really care about the Pirate Ship Timmy or really any of the other the cards in there. But we get another legendary, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the votes options for this week. Alien Drone and Witch Garrison. I feel like most people are going to go Alien Drone, obviously, so that makes sense. You got Terrence and Philip, or you got Labar Jimmy. Uh, I'm not seeing anything so far that looks like Swarm outside of Rats. So the Bard, to me, doesn't make a lot of sense. T TMP definitely makes more sense. As much as I love Amazingly Randy, my Bounty Hunter Kyle is higher level. He's level 5, and it makes more sense to buff these units. Uh, you got Tally and Rogue Token. This is a hard one for me, guys. You guys know how much I love me some, some Tally. I'm actually going to vote Tally. I really am. We got Grand Wizard Cartman and we got Osimo. I think Osimo is better overall. It makes more sense to me than Grand Wizard Cartman. I get Grand Wizard Cartman has value. He is a strong card. Don't get me wrong. But I think Osimo is better and for myself because Osimo, wow, I did not mean to say that. I would vote Terrence Mephesto over Ice Sniper Wendy. Um... I think Osimo is better overall than Grand Wizard Carmen right now, especially for myself, because I have a max level 5 Osimo versus only a level 2 Grand Wizard Carmen. Uh, Cock Magic makes more sense to me than... I, I can't believe Hyperdrive has 7 votes. That's kind of surprising to me. Mecha Timmy makes more sense than Blelf, because again, the only thing Blelf can really feed off of is just rats. And I'm not saying that rats are an important counter, and it looks like they're going to be played by our team, because they're an important counter to Cyborg Kenny. Assuming that most people will pick him. So that makes sense there. You got uh, Transmogrify, so it looks like two cancels. Cyborg Kenny makes more sense than Canadian Knight Ike to me. I think he has more potential to be more useful to counteract, you know, Grand Wizard, any of the, either of the Cartmans, really, or any, uh, some of these other cards that could be posing a lot of problems for you. But you have basically a direct, two direct cancels for Cyborg Kenny. That's the rough part here. In Alien Drone. Alien Drone cannot be affected by his mind control if it kills it. And you have rats. So, two complete deletes. So, Cyborg Kenny is basically going to be almost a useless unit if, unless he's played absolutely perfectly. I can see a lot of people rolling Hanky here. To roll Hanky with Grand Wizard Cartman or Osimo. And or Mecha, Tick, and or Mecha Timmy. Uh, but, I definitely think that Paladin Butters is the better choice there. Okay, so that's going to be my votes for this team's vote deck. Alright, so before we get started, guys, in this balance change section, it's going to talk very briefly about the new theme that's going to be releasing here. It's going to give you a release time, and it's going to be, or at least a relative release time, as well as some information on that new theme. We're going to go into more details on that in a later video that I'm going to do today, but we need to talk about the two balance changes. So the first thing, of course, and the brand new theme is going to be coming out. The design team is laser focused on the new theme in the middle of next month, which is something that I did state a few weeks ago that I assumed... Again, didn't know until now. 
assumed that it would be the middle of the month. And, of course, that projection has come true. There will be more new cards released than we've ever done at one time. They will be releasing 10 cards at launch, which I will get into more detail again in that video that I plan on doing as well today. So we're going to skip that part for right now. And we're going to talk briefly on these two balance changes. Now, I understand that you are working on Red Links as far as adding new st content to the game. 10 cards. That's a lot. I get that. But... This is the worst balance changes you've ever done. And it's not the number of balance changes you've ever done. It's the two balance changes that you are doing. So, which Dr. Token or which Dr. Broken, whatever you want to call it, is one of the strongest cards in the entire game right now. Mystical is the strongest theme in the game right now. This is this is no debate. Uh, the second closest is Fantasy, but Mystical is so much better in so many different ways. Which Dr. Broken, this does not fix crap. This is the stupidest change ever. You're, you're decreasing 5% of his base health. Does nothing. This does nothing. This doesn't change anything. His strength, his nerf, needs to be his ability. The fact that his ability will suck the same amount of health from a rat that it does from Grand Wizard Cartman makes no sense at all. That needs to be changed immediately. I understand that the meta is heavy in Swarm, and that Swarm decks would destroy Mystical, and Mystical would be unplayable, apparently, if Witch Doctor Broken was fixed, and his actual charge ability was fixed. That is the problem here. His charge ability is his biggest and greatest strength. I get that. He's a legendary card. He's also one that people have wailed over, so we can't touch him. Mystical is untouchable. This has been proven now. This is further proof. And Mystical is an untouchable theme now because people, the community has bitched way too many times that Mystical has been touched. And every time it gets touched, we get stupid crap like this. Nothing. When nothing happens. This doesn't change anything. The, the cards that need to be changed within Mystical, Pope Timmy, needs to go back to 7 energy cost. Period. End of story. No other change needs to be made. Just make him back to 7 energy cost again. There are plenty of other Mystical cards that need changes. Uh, Master Ninju has been seeing a slight decline since his nerf that he received a few patches ago. That has been a positive in some direction. Uh, Medusa Bebe needs to be nerfed to some degree. She needs to be lowered in her health. Lower her health 5%. That makes more sense than which Dr. Token. That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't fix anything. This doesn't fix which Dr. Token. Which Dr. Token is still broken. He, this doesn't change anything. Period. I, I don't see any, I don't see 5% decrease in base health being enough to, to remove him from this game. And I'm not saying he needs to be removed from the game. He just needs to be changed and edited to where the amount of health changed the mechanic of his ability, which is a lot to do, apparently, to where you make it to where the unit that he attacks affects how much health he gains. Make him gain even more health from tank units. Make it worth playing against tanks. Make it worth playing against Swarm. If he sucks up more units than one, buff that. Make that better. It sounds broken to some people, probably. But you have to make his actual ability make sense. Because it doesn't make sense right now. It doesn't make sense that one, regardless of strength of unit, same amount of healing or health regeneration or whatever you want to call it in return. It's stupid. That needs to be changed immediately. This doesn't change anything. I'm going to stop sounding like a broken record about this. Witch Doctor Broken is still broken. Nothing has changed. Space Warrior Token. Reduced energy cost from 3 to 2. Okay, sci-fi is the worst theme in the game right now. Period. Of the major five, th of the major four themes, we're not including neutral. Of the major four themes, it is the worst theme. Without question. It needs more buffs than one change. And now Space Warrior Token is arguably the best two energy cost in the game. Better possibly better than Enforcer Jimmy because at least he can do respectable damage now with his charge ability you're not fixing any part of his kit or his ability of, of his card other than his energy cost which is a positive I guess but people play Space Warrior Token all the time especially in Silver and in Bronze he has not played very much in Legendary Arena that's why this change has been made all these changes are made guys for Legendary Arena for those of you in lower arenas they don't care. They don't care. They don't focus on balance changes for the lower arenas. They focus on balance changes for the legendary arenas, for the ones that spend exuberant amounts of money, right? So that's why these changes are always put into consideration. So you can't touch Mystical because, again, 
It affects the whales that have whaled on Mystical for so long because they have Mystical events every other weekend, so therefore they can have plenty of big offer packs for Mystical. So, we have Space Warrior token losing an energy cost. This is a good buff and could possibly be a too good buff because of the fact that he is actually again played in the lower arenas. So have fun in the lower arenas dealing with Duggies and now Space Warrior tokens because they're going to be everywhere in silver. So if you guys are still in Silver Shield, have fun with that. That's going to be happening. Number, the biggest token that needs a balance change is Shaman. Where the hell is he in this? Why is Shaman token not two energy cost? Hell, make Shaman token one energy cost because he's not useful at all. His ability is trash. His, his score, like his actual stats are not good. I mean, I guess they're okay for a common card, but common cards aren't good right now for the most part, except for Blood Elf Bebe, which I'm surprised she's not getting nerfed. When, when is she going to get nerfed, guys? Uh, I'm just waiting for that to happen. I'm about to get her to level 6. I, I have 8 more copies I need to get her to level 6. I know that, that the next balance change round comes around. I'm going to have her to level 6, have some fun with her at level 6, with the new theme maybe. And then, bam, she's going to get nerfed. Look out soon for a possible Blood Elf Bebe nerf, because that's I, we all know that's coming soon. It's got to be coming soon, right? Right, Red Lynx? It's coming? I mean, what is this? What are these changes? I, I Again, the number isn't the problem. It's the changes that are being made. These changes make no effect to the game in a positive to me. And what do you guys... I just want to know what you guys think of the balance changes down below. Are you, do you agree, disagree with me with what I'm stating here? These changes make no concrete difference to the game and that's what balance changes should do they should make a concrete change to the game and they're not doing it here they completely missed the mark here in my opinion uh there are so many problems still there are so many bugs still and this is the changes that we're making and we're adding 10 new cards to the game anytime we have a big change come to the game the game crashes or breaks or a big giant failure starts send cartman bug remember that one that wasn't too long ago. Remember the hyperdrive bug? That was a little while further ago, but that was when the BFU launched. I'm just waiting for something astronomical to happen. I mean, are Dougie's going to be unkillable? I mean, what's what's coming? I mean, what's what's the inevitable future that's coming here when these TED cards launch in three weeks, most likely? I mean, I hope nothing happens. I'll be optimistic about it, but realistically. You know, what, what domino is going to fall next? Uh, what do you guys think again of the bounce changes down below? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit not enjoyable as far as my tone, but I felt like I needed to make a point here uh, that this these bounce changes are not good, in my opinion. Uh, maybe you guys have different differentiating opinions on this. Maybe you guys agree, disagree with me. But thank you guys for watching, and until next time, guys, my name is Juicy.